r slash ask reddit at what point did you just stop debating people when i realized that arguing wasn't changing anyone's mind and was just draining my energy once i learned what celianing is tl dr it's a harassment tactic where someone pretends they want to debate but all they do is is continually ask for more evidence even after you've already provided it the goal is to frustrate you into either giving up or ideally lashing out so they can use your reaction as proof of you being unreasonable. There is no way to fight back against this. The only thing you can do is call it out, warn others then don't engage. I work in healthcare. I stopped trying in 2021 when COVID vaccines came out. Not worth my time to try to convince someone they're not going to be magnetic if they get a vaccine. When they start trying to talk over than me or talk louder than me. It's pointless after that. When I figure out they're listening to argue and not listening to understand. Big difference, and it is often caught real fast if you're paying attention. Once it becomes clear that they aren't reading the references I use. When I realized that debating with a fool makes me a fool too. You should always remember that winning an argument against a smart, intelligent, and educated person is very difficult, but winning an argument against an uneducated idiot is impossible. Don't waste your breath unless you know they're open to what you will say. You have a limited amount of breaths in this world, focus on your practice, don't waste them, they won't come back. I'm way too passionate about the things I care about, it might be too much for some people to handle when they insult me like 2017 ish people don't care about trying to be honest and trying to actually figure out the truth of the matter when they start yelling or mocking me instead of making sense when I realized that winning is impossible and that arguing is a waste of what little time I have on earth I've come to change my approach and ask myself or if possible the other person, is this a discussion? Or an argument? When someone is emotionally invested in their opinion, they tend to dig in their heels and get increasingly defiant in light of counter evidence. I don't waste my energy on these. You guys stopped? Mid 20s. When they got frustrated, you won't bend over for their opinion. I just mind my own and chose to have a peace of mind rather than arguing with someone. I tend to avoid the whole thing in general, especially with nerdy stuff. Like it's one thing when it's among friends, there's just way too many people who are overly emotionally invested so they take stuff to heart more often. I at least try to turn it into something fun. Especially if the disagreement is over something ridiculous when they are not accepting the thing that you are saying. I was heavy on debating people on veganism and ethical consumption until that stupid article came out saying corporations are responsible for 71% of global emissions. People clung onto that headline and feel like their personal lifestyles should never change. They never listen to a single fucking fact outside of that headline, most don't even read the article. Haven't debated anyone since. After Sandy Hook. Gun sales skyrocketed immediately after. Like three months ago. I'm not a very confrontational person to begin with but do enjoy intellectual debates with some of my friends and family. I tune out when anyone tries emotional blackmail, gaslighting, talking over me, ridicule and the usual debating tactics. They can win for all I care. I never argue with people, it's a waste of time. Never. I'm a debater. I mostly just try and lead with kindness and compassion. It works sometimes but not all the time. Any points I make are more for people reading who are willing to grow and better themselves with me. When I moved to the South. I stopped debating with people and engaging with them altogether. I really appreciate debating with someone who can articulate their thoughts clearly and provide verified evidence.
quite frankly, I enjoy having my opinions challenged. While I don't necessarily expect to change someone's mind or mine, I consider it a bonus if it happens. Unfortunately, these days, those willing to debate often lack basic manners and respect, fail to provide interesting points and evidence, or are straight up zealots. Meanwhile, people who possess the necessary qualities and intellect to debate are often too exhausted to engage with complete morons, so they avoid debating altogether. After COVID almost killed me in March of 2020. It took all my last fucks. By the third argument with my 19 year son. I chose to not be a psychotherapist because I realized that I'd be arguing with people as my 9 to 5. And you can't change anyone that doesn't want to. And arguing is stupid. When they start giving excuses to win instead of facts and knowledge. When I got tired of people not debating and started being dicks. That plus willful ignorance, and obvious manipulation talking points. When I realized that I don't matter and neither do they. When I decided my peace was more important. Maybe I'm just getting too old or worn out from living in the internet age, I think it's a waste of time with people I don't have an unrelated rapport with. I disagree with friends on this or that, but it's productive, I guess is the best way I can put it. The walls are down, if there's still a disagreement at the end of a debate, it usually comes with understanding and trusting where they're coming from. I think about what they've said, and it's very seldom that I don't think I've been heard out. Debating in the wild just feels like fighting for fighting's sake. I don't want to play rhetoric poker to figure out who walks away with the most ammunition in a zero-sum game. No one is convinced of anything different than they started with, because that was never the intention on either side. I'm comfortable with having uncomfortable conversations, but if it starts flat-footed, I'm not the sort of person who feels like it's likely to go in a useful direction. I mean, I get it, this why echo chambers develop in politics and society, but I do think something different than the subject has to happen first to break boundaries. Haven't. I am still here. Came for the debate. Stayed for the nudes. When they lose the plot or they are just repeating the same stupid stuff. Couple of stop signs for me. 1. When they started to insult my literal existence, said that I should be killed for my beliefs. Two. When I realized that it literally made my blood warm and my heart beat out of my chest 3. When I realized that they don't actually care about listening to my opinions, only about plastering theirs and not taking any time to listen to mine. I haven't. Instead I realized it's more about being selective and understanding your reason for debating. Most debates I have are more about understanding my own beliefs and someone else's, and not proving a point or convincing someone. When I realized what a negative impact it was actually having on my mental well-being. You should have rephrased it as arguing with people instead of debate, in an organized debate, at least, there's a lot of things you could learn from hearing the other side's opinions and arguments. When I have thoroughly defeated all of their logical arguments, and they start making emotional arguments. I did not, and likely never will. Sometimes I exhaust even myself to be honest. About the time I joined the army. The moment I know that I'm right and the other person wants to keep arguing. I have a very distinctive okay. The people in my life recognize this and either accept that I am right or look it up and see they are wrong. I have new way. It's not debating, just asking questions until the idiocy of their idea is revealed. Maybe they learn from it after reflection, maybe not. Anyway, it's fun. If you want to try, I'd suggest. That's interesting, how did you learn about that? As a starting point. This is usually the point they reveal they have no reliable source for their information, they just felt like saying it. Other good ones are whom I never thought about it like that. I always believed, 
reliable source, about, topic, if you want to fish then to go on a conspiracy rant. Or is that something you have found to be true in your life? When they are talking shit about something they clearly know nothing about. Kill them with kindness. With minimal effort. Very occasionally if I think they might reflect and change I'll add a that hasn't been my experience or I was given different information but I really want them to carry the conversation and outline where they went wrong first. If anyone has others I am collecting them so, please share. When it becomes clear they are not talking to me, but to a caricature of me in their own head. When they all came to their senses and realized I was right all this time. My work here is done. Years ago face with tears of joy I had two very long arguments that were incredibly stupid. Not important topics and very niche information. One lasted half a day, pure arguing, and the other was on and off for like two months. Very petty garbage I do not recommend. Say what you believe and give them the opportunity to respond and the last word and be done with it. Unless it's in a formal and timed setting. I might answer up to two or three times to make my point clear. Then I say to myself you could be debating a 13 year old or a bot and that thought immediately makes me stop. When it stops being entertaining. Eventually you mature enough to recognize the signs that someone or something will not change because they don't want to. When you realize that they are not debating for the sake of knowledge, but just for the sake of winning. Being honest when I realized that opinions, beliefs, and explanations matter a great deal less than narratives, stories and accounts of direct, individual, and personal experiences. Life is essentially all about the stories we can tell and share with each other. This is what makes us all human. Often people with the strongest opinions and beliefs or who feel the need to explain are people who are generally on some kind of ego trip or who are desperate for attention. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.